What you see now are boxes taken from my grandma's house. She moved in with my family this year, and while going through her things, we found these. This selection of boxes all have one thing in common. They all contain items featuring the cigarette mascot, Joe Camel. people collect things. Rocks, CDs, books. Throughout the years, my grandma has just collected these. You name an object, she probably has a Joe Camel version of it. Shower curtains, shirts, shorts, even a dartboard. The collection is endless. What is clear by looking at these items is that Camel knows how to market their products. Joe Camel, their mascot, was created in 1987 and content featuring him was produced for a decade. such a powerful tool that companies use to ensure customer loyalty. While brands use a lot of tricks like slogans, bright colors, and funny themes, it's clear that having a well-known mascot and collectible items is especially influential. Joe Camel was described as a smooth character. He was a character that is easily recognizable. However, that doesn't mean everyone loved him. There was a lot of concern that his character was targeted at kids and could persuade children and teens to take up smoking. As of today, lung cancer is not registered as a cause of death for camels, but it is the cause of over 480,000 deaths per year in the US and is the number one cause of preventable death. Camel advertising was more than effective, but while the item seemed cheerful, it doesn't mean it's all fun and games. Bright colors and a cool camel can distract you from the actual harmful product they're pushing, similar to how happy music can make a story not seem so sad. The images used in this marketing campaign are clean, crisp, and fun. They seem like a cheerful game. RJ Reynolds has invested a lot of time and energy into cigarette culture, and smokers have reciprocated. This is a collection that took up space in my grandma's house for 30 years and continues to take up space in her lungs.